On Thursday, February 23rd, Bridgeport High School had the pleasure of welcoming Senator Joe Manchin to honor seniors who have been nominated to attend U.S. service academies. Bridgeport High School students Fisher Rector, Zachary Kimball, and Cole Amos were all nominated to attend West Point Military Academy. Hayden Miller of Bridgeport and also Alexander Altenberg of Notre Dame High School were recognized for their nomination into the Naval Academy in Annapolis. After recognizing these students, Senator Joe Manchin talked about the challenges in Washington and throughout the entire country. Now, first of all, make it very clear, whether you're Democrat or Republican, there shouldn't be anybody that doesn't want a clean environment. I don't think, I've not met a West Virginian yet that wanted to drink dirty water or breathe dirty air. Now the bottom line is, 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 is how, how over, overreaching should government be? And that's where I've had, I try to find the balance between the economy and the environment. Not only did Senator Manchin talk about national problems, he also specified his belief in the benefits of art. Well, when I was governor, we expanded the funding for the arts more than any other time in the history of the state of West Virginia. Because I believe in it. I think, it's, I think it's a window to your soul. It's who you are, the arts. And it's part of a well-rounded education. It's part of also maturing and growing. And right now, they keep cutting it back because they think it's extracurricular activity. And it's so much a part, and it should be entwined. Everybody should be involved in some form of the arts. I don't care what it is. After Senator Manchin finished speaking, Bridgeport High School media managed to steal a few minutes of the senator's time. Senator Manchin had a message for the youth of West Virginia about activism and education. If you don't become involved in a young age, you might miss 10 or 20 years before you do get involved. Then it might be too late. So if you have concerns now, whether it's your health care, whether it's the security of our nation, whether it's basically the direction we're going, the opportunities that the working families have, you should be out learning about it and talking about it now. And that's coming to public forums, talking to any of us elected officials, uh, and let us be able to, you know, I always said, here's the challenges we face. Here's our pathway forward. There's maybe two or three different pathways. Which one would you recommend? But you have to be involved and understand it, and also stay up on uh, current events. You say this, read the paper, watch, ask questions, get involved. First of all, get the education, the best education you can get. Uh, and that doesn't mean you have to go on to college, but you have to get additional skill sets. Go to the community technical college, get you a skill set that are applicable to the job that you're looking for. Make sure you exercise your right to get the best education and we'll help you. We'll help you get the skill sets. Most importantly, you have to keep yourself clean. You cannot be drug addicted in any way, shape, or form. That'll keep you out of the workforce. So, education, drug free, I'll guarantee you, we'll have the jobs in West Virginia. Well, the bottom line is not a person who shouldn't get an education if they want it. Primary and secondary education up through high school is free in West Virginia. It's the greatest opportunity you have. There's other opportunities. I don't want any person to believe they can't afford to go on to school. If you think you can't afford it, you call me in my office and we'll make sure we find a pathway forward for you. Uh, you can't afford not to get an education. So we'll help you. Don't think because, well, my family doesn't have enough money, I don't have money, I don't know how to go on and get be able to pay for school. We'll show you a pathway forward. So don't anybody give up and they have to have different additional skill sets through education opportunities. It's clear that Senator Manchin values education and service just like the five seniors honored today. At Bridgeport High School, I'm Douglas Soule with the Indian Insider.